Welcome to the Goods from the Woods. My name is Rivers Langley. I'm Sam Harder. And I'm Carter Glasscock. And today we are so pleased to be joined once again by our friend Kelly McInerney. Welcome hey. back to yeah. the show at Holly Weirdo in the house. Yeah. What's going on? How I are you? Change my Instagram. Oh, now, shit. Now it's just my name. Oh, now perfect. Name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's when someone's going legit, is when they well, when they yeah. change it to just the name. Oh, oh take, well, take well, the domain. Once oh. you realize if somebody puts your name in a search and your name will not come up at all. You're uh, like, oh, yeah. I need to fix this. I had the same issue before. Too many people call me Holly. I was like, I gotta get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I still save it. It's now my pussy jokes. Like, I don't... I take- <laughs> Pictures of signs. I don't call my pussy this. I call it. Oh, okay. okay. My haunted what? cavern. <laughs> I was gonna ask, what's the what's the best one? Uh, I mean, haunted mound was one of them. Uh, where, where was that? <laughs> it was just uh, some. It wasn't even a haunt. It wasn't even a Halloween thing. It was just some graffiti. Oh, okay. <laughs> that somebody wrote haunted mound. I'm like, that sounds like a pussy. <laughs> Took a picture of it. Damn. Yeah, just silly stuff. I should probably split that up because so much of my Instagram is just funny signs yeah. <laughs> it's like this is barely about comedy at this point it's funny that's I mean, comedy yeah i guess so mm. yeah last time i was home i passed a cemetery that was called booger hill oh my god and i kind of like <laughs> almost put my finger in my nose it was like salute to the heroes you yeah. know? <laughs> uh, it is like a family like crying over a grave behind you they're like oh, oh please come back he was too young and you're like booger hill yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. i mean you know, you're like doing a selfie video and some guy's like on his knees <laughs> God in the background <laughs> Why'd you take him? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's a booger. Boogers. Like when you're a kid, and it's funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was totally one of those cemeteries that you see on Instagram that no one's gone to in years, and there's a guy cleaning the graves. You ever seen that shit? Yeah. Oh, not go down that road. Like yeah. one of those kind of pet <laughs> cemetery esque fellas. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? The grave cleaner people? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the uh, gatekeeper. No, just. Just I think it's gatekeeper or crypt keeper. Is it literally crypt keeper? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just remember seeing, uh, you know, a bunch of those videos and it's like, this man died in 1826 and he has to like physically dig the grave out of the dirt to like oh reassemble yeah. it. I'm like, um, people ask, you know, where the, the howling winds. <laughs> <laughs> do you hear the voices? <laughs> well, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. <laughs> you know, it really just depends on. What time of yar it is? <laughs> <laughs> What's the scariest time of yar? Oh, whenever I remember about her, which would be <laughs> the cold months. <laughs> <laughs> her being a ship, I think. <laughs> He's an old captain, an yeah, old yeah. sea captain. <laughs> Everyone who has his voice is either That's a sea captain or is a crypt keeper. <laughs> That's a good career path, though. Ex boat captain to crypt keeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah it, flo- it flows, right? I, yeah. I, I thought <laughs> Just you lon- lon- lonely man, <laughs> like where you stare at the uh, open wind. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant grave influencer. <laughs> Was grave good... influencer. Also, to- could be a total alcoholic, and no one will know. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Both either of those jobs. He, yeah, he drinks the grave cleaning chemicals just in between. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From out of hide is a tasty <laughs> demon drink. <laughs> one for me, one for Fester Altoona. <laughs> one for me, one for Fester Altoona. <laughs> one for me, one for this dead baby. <laughs> <laughs> we never knew you. Yeah, there's like guys like that don't actually know anything about graves, just being like. Oh, a lamb on this one. It's probably a, probably a kid. <laughs> it's like that, it's like a weird boast on a date. There's some guys that don't know anything about graves. <laughs> Not me though. <laughs> I know everything about dead people. <laughs> They're just there with their scrub brush and their solution. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm so I happy. Do little, I do little one acts with them. I <laughs> make them do poses. I'm happy to know that you, you at least know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm becoming more uh, weird with like my algorithm of the shit that it's showing me, where it, at this point is just like grave stuff and then food to make me angry. Is uh, this what, <laughs> what? Like what to app? cook or uh, what app? Uh, either yeah. Yeah. Instagram or Facebook or whatever, yeah. just you, you know, YouTube. What kind of you food that makes you TikTok. angry? Like, yeah, get on the talk. That, yeah. That'll be a crazy algorithm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are talk. you one of those guys who thinks you're above it? It's, it's yeah, just, he is. It's too he much. Is, he is. I, he to be is. Fa- no. To be fair, too much. I, I, I am much. too. I am too. And these damn kids and their Pac Mans need to quit bothering mm. me. With what do you it, think when you think of TikTok? What do you think of? Uh, well, I, I, it's not like I, I don't have like a removed view of it because Carly's on it all the time, so I just hear it secondhand. Okay, <laughs> and so it's always just like uh, makeup videos, food things, and then uh, uh, embarrassingly viral videos where someone comments it, being like, Shh, 
I don't know about all that. <laughs> you, guys, you guys don't, like, uh, at the end of the night, you don't watch TikToks together and be like, no, scroll that one, scroll that one. <laughs> we should do that. We should do that. I mean, TV. It's not true Just love. Just slowly I, I go house. insane together. <laughs> I hear, like, I'm so, like, embroiled in my, like, video game dorkery on the other end of the uh-huh. bed that she's like, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. And then I have to be like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And then I'll, like, close my thing and watch it for a second. Like, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> do you participate in the TikTok Oh, thing? I love TikTok. It's great. Great content. I mean, that's how I learned every how to make normal, bread in Every the normal person yeah. does TikTok, <laughs> Rivers. I well, hate to tell you. I know. I'll, yeah. hey, no, I'll <laughs> cop to that. It's just, it seems like a lot. No, it's I'm not. With, it's not I, at I'm all. I'm with you, Rivers. I think it's I think it's sensory shattering. But yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm, I'm also. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind having my senses shattered, but I've already got Instagram, Facebook, and Facebook is yeah. way, but, way, but these are short videos. What you yeah. just yeah. described yeah. is just a worse version of TikTok. Really, though, if you use all of them, TikTok's clearly the best. You don't one. see any of your friends. No, no, you won't. Right. Number oh, one, you can specifically that's cool. set it. So that's that yeah. nice. But I kind of, I think I want to see my friends, and I also want to like control the pace of it because like yeah. the the rapid videos and succession <laughs> thing is like after three, I'm like I'm fucking done. Yeah. Like, this is like. I have to pay so much attention. Yeah, because <laughs> you're fucking watching makeup videos your girlfriend's showing you. Of course you hate that. Yeah, I find, you I should I be watching find, uh, high some... schoolers fight each other in a bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally fine with f- f- seeing someone from high school who I kind of used to know and be like, oh, look at that. They got divorced. And then <laughs> get off of it. And then just be like, all right, I'm going to go back to my dorky interests that I show no one yeah. <laughs> and behind a locked door. Yeah. No, the thing that you keep showing me, like I said, you get the, the grave guys and then also... There's a thing called Food uh, Chef Club. Have you seen these guys? No. Mm. So their whole thing. So do you remember maybe 10 years ago, there was that YouTube series, Epic Meal Time, and the whole... How we can't forget. Uh, right. Some people still I say I look like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you should just That's put that up. on your credits. <laughs> I am him. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Who's going to check, you know? Yeah. Get booked more, dude. Yeah. But when that came out, the concession of it was like, this is crazy. You shouldn't do this. Watch, so therefore watch these guys make this, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a thing called Chef Club where it's sort of the same concept, except it's like an instructional of how you should make the dumbest thing of all time. Yeah. And it's, it's just outraged clickbait yeah. videos uh-huh. about with food. And it works every time because I watch it. I'm just mad about it mm-hmm. every time he does it. It's And it's in like a professional, mm-hmm. like industrial kitchen, you know, and he'll have, he'll have like, the you know, a gigantic tortilla and he'll wrap out like raw hamburger onto it. Oh my God. And that's, I'm like, you're going to kill somebody. How <laughs> to videos well, rule, man. The that's... thing is no one ever eats that food. No. The one just... bite they take is all that is eaten. Yeah. That yeah. yeah. It's he's, just he, a waste. He's, yeah, exactly. He's making enough food for like 15 people mm-hmm. and even then they shouldn't eat it because they would get fucking E. Yeah. coli yeah. if they followed this instruction. But his big <laughs> thing is he's like, he'll like put like a tortilla but he'll make it into like weaves. You know how these do like bacon weave. You mm-hmm. do that yeah, with like, like a tortilla pie. and it's yeah. just like the end cap of like a 10 pound burrito that he then just pours cheese sauce on top the whole time. He's just like, it's so easy guys. It's so easy. And you're like, no, no, it's not. So I've, I've tried to make recipes from the videos where it's like, they're always so fucking quick to like, Hey guys, how's it going? Here's how I make my uh, delicious uh, spicy chicken bites. <laughs> yeah. uh, they're really good. And they're really good in protein. Uh, here's a shot of my six pack yeah. anyways. And then it's like all like the ASMR. Like, <laughs> Right, right, right. <laughs> 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 There's like sound of Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. <laughs> There's like all this shit. And then like it's really quick and you have to pause it every five seconds. Yeah. yeah. I could not do that. So I tried to make a recipe last night from just like a, I'm just a Midwestern mom and here's how you make a food for eight boys. And like it, I made a spinach pie and I totally <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> and it was like. Uh, you had to do phyllo dough. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I didn't You're let... fucked. As soon as that's a per- thing, I'm done <laughs> with the recipe. Dude. I'm yeah. finding something new to eat. I was like, well, you're supposed to let it defrost or whatever. <laughs> and I was just like trying to break it apart and be like, oh, shit. And I was like sprinkling it over the top and not laying it as like a layer. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. And uh, I made it. And it was it ended up being good. Yeah. Uh, but I, I threw it in the fucking oven being like, this is probably going to make us sick. <laughs> <laughs> There's one guy who, it looks like he makes good stuff, but he just has the most dead eye stare. He's like kind of this fat dude. He wears overalls and he's a Texas guy from Context Clues. And he's just like, bonfire and chili dog season going to be here before you know it. You put some of this on your hot dog. You're not going to eat one any other way. Let's get started. And he just is 
dead eye staring to the camera, but his uh, accoutrement that he has that no one else has, which he has this like upper arm band with a bandolier of spices and hot sauces. Oh my god! It's <laughs> just attached to that it. That is that's too much you, time. Yeah, yeah, that's how you get uh, fat. I, yeah. <laughs> I get <laughs> fat with precision. Yeah. <laughs> Some but, people are sloppy about it, not me. But what's crazy is he doesn't. He doesn't appear to use it. Like it's uh. just Chekhov's spice band. <laughs> it's like you can't not use it. I've been shot. <laughs> Do you need some dillweed? Yeah. Yeah. Does he wear it all the time? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all the it's on his it's on his left arm and it's like a black like velcro band that takes up his entire forearm and it's like probably yeah. six or so various spices and hot sauces. Oh my god. And he's just explaining stuff but the engine just... won't turn over. Do you need any cumin perhaps? <laughs> 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 but yeah, and then he's just, you know, making a, you know, my cheese dip will have everybody stealing the crock pot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, I think it doesn't matter like how good the thing you're making looks as long as you're like the more of a freak you are the better the more viral you're gonna go <laughs> yeah. you know right. what i mean like yeah as long as you're someone who's like so this is my grilled cheese sandwich <laughs> that has uh chicken fingers in it oh yeah and uh y'all are y'all are being mean in the comments yeah, yeah. whatever and that's like super haters viral. you, you haters. gotta get haters when you're popular <laughs> <laughs> he's like dipping it in ranch dressing yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's the people in the comments who are like don't listen to them you're doing great yeah. there's a, i want a t-shirt <laughs> there's a guy who just cooks on his bed like he has a I think he's the idea is that he's like in a dorm room he's like this is a dorm room oh treat. yeah I see this guy with like a tiny like mm-hmm. apartment yeah and he it, cooks uh-huh. he cooks things yeah. in like his little toaster oven but he's like got a cutting board he's like chopping onions on his bed I'm just like no stop it stop it oh, <laughs> there's Jesus. one guy in a van he's like a young guy too and he's like hey there you guys want to make some uh, cheddar soup today <laughs> oh and it's just like you live in a van yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah, yeah. he's trying to make it look aesthetically pleasing I'm like, yeah. I don't get this van life, dude. <laughs> I don't either. I got so confused. I got to start seeing like the stuff bought from that influence. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like I got to st- see that yeah. the rewards yielded from this viral. Because <laughs> if he's just going viral and living in a van, it ain't worth it. There's a guy who just cooks stuff outside and it, he won't even use a stove. He'll use like a big flat river rock that yeah. he'll build a campfire under and stuff like that. And there was one where he was making burgers and everything looked fine until he decided to wash his lettuce in the creek next to the thing and then Ugh. did nothing else. I was like, you will get Giardia and you will deserve it. <laughs> you will you will shit out your life <laughs> and, <laughs> out of your butt and you will deserve it. That's Giardia. That's one yeah. thing with TikTok. Never heard of that one. Before. I have, and that's a good pull. <laughs> I mean, hey, I was in Boy Scouts. That's yeah, what, yeah, you, the thing. You literally have to get like iodine tabs if you're going to drink out of a creek. You can't just have creek water. I don't care if it's just missed it over lettuce and still got that's a ugh. good series of tiktoks you could do though boy scout stuff just yeah, yeah just reacting uh-huh. to yeah. idiots cooking outside yeah. like oh, nope. boy nope. scout react no, yeah. you, you call it you call, you call it yeah 37 year old boy call scout it, reacts you call it the last man scout oh <laughs> buddy oh shit all right this is getting cut Dude, i need this tweet at us if you want to see an episode of the I'm, last man I, shit scout. Yeah. We can i don't know. care i'm doing it we can, <laughs> we can my haters can say whatever they want the last man scout's coming to your house you know our haters listen to this podcast intently <laughs> waiting for us to fuck up. <laughs> if, if we get 15 people hitting up the Twitter account, this will happen. Literally, One episode will happen. That's right. 15, 15, 15 replies. 15? One. No, Rippers. <laughs> I'm trying to get the podcast engagement, okay, you fool. Okay, fine. <laughs> I even know where we can film it. I know where there's a little patch of woods with trees. I know. In yeah. LA? Uh, uh, Angela yeah. Crest. <laughs> oh, you Park. can find some trees yeah, in LA. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. No, but I, I mean one where I can be alone. No one can see this except no, for God. It, no, it'll be funnier if people are around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. a production cool. value. Yeah. Oh, look, I, I can't set the kind of fire I want in Griffith Park. Okay. I've got to go mm. elsewhere. Angeles National Forest. Or anywhere. Though. Get or off the grid. Right now, yeah. I don't think you can set a fire anywhere where they'll be okay with it. No, nah, but I, I know how to make a shadow fire. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I, learned, I learned about it on Instagram. <laughs> a shadow what fire. What is a shadow fire? It's, it's where you dig two holes in the ground that are right next to each other, and then you connect them, and then you stuff the wood down into the one hole and then the air feeds the other one it burns so hot there's less smoke so if you're a fugitive on the run i'm, I'm looking at fugitive oh. tiktok uh, mm-hmm. it produces okay. a lot less smoke and you can cook with a, a shadow fire no there's okay. definitely weird survivalist tiktok yeah yeah yeah. There. yeah but i actually didn't learn that one in scouts i learned okay. that one in uh just on uh instagram so, where, so yeah. tiktok is worth it even if you don't if you just want to lurk 
Not yeah. if you want to. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. better if you just lurk. Yeah, and right. posting yeah. videos will make you go insane. Yeah. <laughs> the algorithm is so crazy. You'll like hit the biggest views you ever had and post your next video, and it's like, oh, good, you got 13 on that one. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> the ones that last, though, are like, I made this video, I made a sketch, uh, and I had to puke in the sketch. Mm -hmm. That got nothing. But me... Showing how to make fake puke on TikTok. Oh, love kids yeah. love it all wow. the time. I keep getting comments being like, "How do you make it smell?" <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, just supposed to look this. good. It's what like, are you talking? Like, how do you make anything smell? <laughs> Let it stay out in the sun yeah. for a while. <laughs> Some spoiled They're all trying meat. to <laughs> not go to school. I'm like, I respect it. Yeah. Trying to find ways on TikTok. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's so true. Well, like, what's the secret? Oh, it's just like oatmeal and applesauce. Just oh, a lot of stuff. That'll do it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Perfect. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing the vision. It doesn't taste bad or smell bad. Right, it just yeah. looks bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Every time I've done fake, well, just once, I think. Uh, the only time I did fake vomit in a sketch, it was a split pea soup. Yeah. And uh, it just looked like exorcist stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, didn't look, it didn't look real. Yeah. But, uh, it, uh, it was green and soupy. When we were in seventh grade, we used to do the thing where you'd get a bunch of Oreos and like orange soda just whatever and just put it in our mouths and then just walk by random people and just be like ah! and then just pretend to puke in front of them it was hilarious when we were 12 oh yeah that's the, good. That, fun, I like funniest that thing you could do I'd do that right now yeah. <laughs> yeah I like to pretend to puke yeah. in public look you know, hey, yeah I've definitely done that a so, it sounds times. like we're cooking up a last man scout uh, puke man uh, okay. the puke man challenge yeah, yeah. Okay. last man scout Collab. Puke, last man scout puke boy challenge yeah. one yeah. he replies you get both of them <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just me showing how to build a fire and you just keep puking on yeah. it. In the <laughs> yeah, on top of your, your hard work. <laughs> God darn it. Dang it. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> 20 replies, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, going up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're doing two for 20. Yeah, it's a cold. Yeah. It's, a deal. it's a deal, yeah. If you get 15, you only get the the last Boy Scout. What are we calling it? <laughs> You're an Eagle Scout. Last so the puke is only an extra five likes, huh? You're ready. You're that. <laughs> yeah, well. yeah. I'll fake puke for <laughs> five <laughs> likes. That was a lot easier. Yeah. You don't have to break California fire codes to, uh, <laughs> you know, make that happen. That's true. You have to kill yourself for your art. Yeah, yeah. By the way, my mom sent me a Katie Couric article about how uh, energy drinks are bad. So, mom. Dude, Dude, you know who Mom's always tells, her, it, Mom. you know who tells me energy <laughs> drinks are bad and fucking drug addicts and the fattest people I've ever seen in my life will be like, oh, you shouldn't drink an energy drink. Yeah, It's like, this is my vice, all right? You yeah. can't even, you didn't even know that it was my vice until you saw me drinking a can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I was just like, well, hey, maybe if she hadn't covered up Matt Lauer's crimes, I'd listen to her, but... Uh, oh, yeah. Katie, Katie. But, He's an evil genius. Uh, well... <laughs> 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 uh, well, speaking of evil, uh, this week uh, for our ungodly concoction, this is one that I found in my now legendary vitamin shop uh, poll. Uh, this one is called Redcon One, and the flavor is Vice City. Yeah. Oh, so very, oh, okay. very, yeah. very gaming influenced, I guess. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. You know. Even though the camo. can looks very Lisa Frank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I think it's trying to be Miami colors. Yeah, it's this supposed is just going to taste like pina colada. I can yeah, tell well, from the fruit right. arranged. There's a pineapple. Uh, fucking coconut, strawberry. Yeah. So according to the website, it's supposed to be a mix of a strawberry daiquiri and a pina colada. And okay. the website says it, quote, inspires a provocative yet sophisticated vibe. Sexy. <laughs> That's what I want out of an energy drink. Yeah, so it's like, Feeling provocative. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to wake up. I just want to feel provocative. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a provocative yet sophisticated. So it's like a, it's like a visit to a hipster porn porno theater okay. uh, right yeah, yeah. Uh, or if it's, it's like, like a, a stripper but with a tuxedo on <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> crack this i need it, caffeine it's so like bad. I haven't it's like it if you're like a, uh like like one of like british parliament and you have to wear one of those wigs but then like a leg comes yeah. through the <laughs> the judge gown you have to wear oh uh, damn that was a good crack that was nice i stayed up till 4 a.m playing Fortnite and then slept till 1 p.m today i have not had no caffeine there you go. My man. life is miserable. I felt like shit all day long. <laughs> <laughs> did Since, you reach number one in Fortnite or whatever? Um, no, not even. I did. Sad. I got two and three a couple times, but I didn't win any. I didn't get any victory royales yesterday, which is a bummer. Oh. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers, everybody. Like, yeah. I hate the taste of pina colada. It <laughs> already smells bad. It's not my favorite. Uh, <laughs> I like both of those things, so I like this. Okay, oh, it's not that bad. Yeah, I don't, it's it's just really sugary and yeah. sweet. Like, 
Well, it's, it's yeah, I'll chug it. I do think savor. splitting one yeah. can into four, great idea, because I don't know if I could <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with yeah. a whole can, you know? A whole yeah. can of this would be... Yeah, maybe if you give me tense. some ice okay, or something. Okay, guys. Would you mix this with alcohol? Yes, I was yeah, just about to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. energy mm-hmm. drink, pretty much. Rum, Malibu rum, let's go back to hey, f- high school or whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's get real. I feel not <laughs> fake puke. Let's real puke. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, to me, this is like straight like soda gun like mix with like at a Dave and Buster's kind of <laughs> like. Yeah. Like if you ordered a pina colada at a Dave and Buster's. Yeah, because it's yeah. so sugary. Like, uh huh. Oh, it yeah. It kind of tastes like how your mouth tastes after being on vacation and drinking a lot of pina colada. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> like, like this the sour I forgot yeah. to brush my teeth last night <laughs> right kind of vibe yeah it's weird because I'm now going to insist that if you are the CEO of an energy drink company you should be thrown in jail like this <laughs> this made it official because mm-hmm. I looked up the CEO of this company Redcon one his name is Aaron Singerman and we can go ahead and add him to the uh, the rogues gallery uh, <laughs> so from the website this is how they describe him and I should point out that when you click on their like leadership button, There is no CEO listed for reasons that will become clear. But as far as I can tell, allegedly, supposedly, this guy is still the CEO. So he (laughs) describes himself in a previous version of the website as Aaron Singerman in the Empire business, (laughs) which is from Mm -hmm. Breaking Bad. (laughs) Uh, Oh, it is? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Jesse, you asked me if I was in the meth business or the money business. Neither. I'm in the empire business. So he's a professional dreamer who's watched TV. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Unless there's meth in this. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's, well. I, I should say that the empire business thing is listed before father of three boys. <laughs> so got to get that Walter White reference in before the fatherhood. Uh, serial entrepreneur author and that just means he's like does a bunch of get rich quick schemes and they all (laughs) fail so you keep trying them (laughs) one one of them felt spectacularly as we're about to see but uh yeah he calls himself an autodidact which is a self-taught person which (laughs) anytime you see that that's a red flag anytime it's like oh i'm self-taught you're like "Uh uh-oh curious about that book but there's spelling (laughs) error (laughs) like self-taught and good are not synonyms (laughs) (laughs) he also calls himself a stoic and a philanthropist uh so before red stoic but yeah, <laughs> stoic yeah so oh, i thought you meant like, he, like he's very calm and mannered like he's yeah. a stoic person yeah 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 that's what he's claiming yeah he's a, he's a stoic i just know. picture he's holding all his energy like anger in <laughs> oh for that's sure. what i mean yeah. <laughs> that's what I, th- I think he'd like to think he is <laughs> he'd like to think that he's like able to do that but, yeah. yeah uh so before redcon one he had another company that was called blackstone labs and he founded it in boca raton they called themselves a sports and dietary supplement retailer and uh, he founded it with a guy named PJ Braun who's going to come back into the story in a moment but uh, in November of 2021 Singerman and his partner PJ Braun both pleaded guilty to conspiring to sell illegal anabolic steroids and other products marketed as dietary supplements that were unlawful under federal law so that's cool fun he, it is cool uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the Department of Justice trial attorney Alistair Reeder said that the scheme by Blackstone Labs was run in broad daylight on the internet with advertisements on Facebook with a website bragging that their products were the best quality products. And he described the scheme as brazen with a veneer of legitimacy. And uh, that operated from 2012 until 2017. So while he's waiting to be sentenced, he's pled guilty. So his attorney basically was like, hey, we should maybe just give him 20 months because during COVID, he gave away 20,000 Redcon 1 protein bars to uh, police and teachers and nurses. And I like him. And that's how, yeah. the, sh- that's how the shootings began. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he was, uh, uh, he did bring in a video production crew to film him giving away all the candy bars and they determined that this was shot after the federal indictment. So they were like, yeah, this doesn't count. So yeah. <laughs> and once the news broke, uh, the cops and all these people had to return the candy bars, <laughs> which was great. But no, the, the real thing is, again, this is out of Boca Raton. Yeah, this, Florida, the, right? This is the most Florida man ever. I love this guy. Uh, so the same month that he had to return all the candy God bars. Damn outlaws just <laughs> running around out there. <laughs> so the same month he had to return the candy bars, Singerman was arrested for boating under the influence in Broward nice. County. Now... <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen, he's the only one that's been caught. Yeah, you know? I, that's, uh, yeah, as I say, that's exactly. What so I was how else say. do you? How else do you drive a boat? How right, you got to <laughs> crash into another boat to <laughs> get to get a BWI? Well, you know well, I mean? yeah. it, it's funny you mentioned that. Uh, he was uh, charged he with that after he allegedly smashed the Red Con One Company cigarette <laughs> yeah. boat into <laughs> yeah, several docks go. and parked vessels. There we go. And according to his arrest report, he was uh, he blew a point two five, which is three <laughs> times the legal limit. Oh, uh, he makes, doesn't remember doing it any of that. Much. Oh, it's amazing. He has one of the best mug shots I've ever seen. Hard stop. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, he looks like the cops beat him up, but no. he probably didn't even have <laughs> No, it's so much funnier than that. Uh, so he was boating at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, he was supposedly driving a friend back and he is he's in a fucking one of those fast boats, right? So he goes yeah. underneath this bridge. No problem. I forgot they, that those are called cigarette boats. Yeah, cigarette yeah, boats. I was like, wait, do they sell cigarettes? No, no. It's, it's <laughs> like, imagine like Miami Vice boats. It's oh, one of okay. those, but it's got the red. I imagine con. it's like a little thing that like puddles around and it's like some guy who's a bus driver just <laughs> huffing down <laughs> cigarettes and he's like, yeah, it's the only way to get from my house to the bus station. <laughs> so it's it's got like the red con one. It's got this logo like emblazoned on the side and everything. And uh, so he goes under this bridge, no problem, takes his friend back and then he has to turn around and now again, it's three o'clock in the morning, which is like not when you're supposed to be yeah. in a boat uh, going fast, but the tide has risen. Has so any, has anyone among us ever done that? Gone really fast <laughs> in a boat at like <laughs> three a.m. Fuck no. Um, no. <laughs> no. Have you? Like tw- midnight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lake Martin gets crazy, man. <laughs> it was a buddy's uh, bachelor party. Yeah, see, and we know. all like took a shot and got on his boat, yeah. and he was like. <laughs> like going gunning it over <laughs> this this still lake and um we almost got thrown out of the boat <laughs> yeah yeah uh, how fast he was going but it was a crazy weekend my so. dad fell in between the um the boat lift and the cement dock he was like he would oh, get shit. Oh, there was shit. like a tiki bar by this like lake that we would go to and he would get a little bit uh drunk and <laughs> sure 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 <laughs> and he fell and he the only thing that happened was he ripped a part of his tie dye shirt <laughs> he was all bummed about that. <laughs> Please tell me it was a Joe's Crab Shack. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I forget what it was. I think it, no, it was like one of those tie dye shirts at like you know uh, San Diego, like uh, okay. on that. It's like just one of those people selling tie dye shirts. <laughs> like, save the save the oceans nice. shirt. They're nice. like, are you all right? He's like, man, I really like that shirt. Yeah, yeah my yeah. mom got it sewn and gave it to him again for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, like I said, when he passed under the bridge the first time, the tide was down, and then on his way back, the tide was up. So the bridge is now a much oh, lower no. clearance, uh, and it took out like is the, that his boo boo on his head? Yes, it, it, fuck! It, how did it, not take his head clear it off? Took off like well because everything He's got a big head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of, worked out. There's a lot of purchase on that. <laughs> he <fight. doesn't, laughs> hey, he doesn't skip neck day. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> it just takes it just that practices just, dropping on his pop head. your head off like a fucking champagne. Well, cord. it popped off everything else on top of the boat. Supposedly, according to him, it like ripped off all the rigging and just all the stuff, and oh, then. Wow. Wow. Something hit him in the head, and he's like bleeding profusely. And then that's when the boat veered off, and he crashed into a dock and a bunch of other boats. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't his fault; it was the tide. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> tides be like that sometimes. Yeah. Well, it's also the reason you don't boat at night. Uh, yeah. He's got to be the crazy guy in that uh, in that town or something. Oh, fucking that guy doing it again. Yeah, he's <laughs> in Boca Raton. Yeah. He's probably not even top ten. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Uh, it's, like, uh, why even buy a dock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just going to get run into by a drunk person. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, that's November of 2021 at Redcon's holiday party held at Mar-a-Lago <laughs> on, in December 2021. So he's, cool. Yeah, he's having parties at Mar-a-Lago. He said, quote, so the truth is I wouldn't do anything differently. <laughs> and this is after uh, being federally indicted. No regrets. Dude. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. YOLO, bro. YOLO. Uh, a month that. I'm month- self-taught. I'm <laughs> learning all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a student of life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's just blood still just like slowly <laughs> trickling down his head. Sir, you're going to not. Don't move. You can't move. <laughs> I'm Sir. a student of life. He's going into shock. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you're bleeding on Donald Trump's carpet. <laughs> Uh, so every day I learned <laughs> <laughs> a month later Singerman was fucked up on Ambien driving on a suspended license when he collided <laughs> with another vehicle jumped the median and smashed into a palm tree 
Uh, I support driving on drugs, but Ambien, you should not fucking be behind the wheel of a car. There's so many other drugs that are so much better to drive with. This evil Knievel esque. Yeah. (laughs) Daredevil. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be dead. Uh, (laughs) So uh, he claims, by the way, he's like, I don't even remember it. I was, uh, of course, you don't remember shit on Ambien. He goes, I just remember leaving my hotel room to get some food, and that's all I remember, man. I woke up in jail. (laughs) We're drinking a dead man's energy drink. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's uh, no life. Unfortunately, life is going great for him. Uh, so later that month, uh, he received a 54 month prison sentence in the federal prison camp in Pensacola for his role at Blackstone Labs and selling steroids. And uh, he was ordered to pay two point nine million dollars. But in December of 2022, after serving only 11 months of a five year sentence, he was released from prison <laughs> and the Bureau of Prisons aren't saying why he got out, but Let's just say he's going to be uh, taking up residence in a subway tunnel and eating a lot of cheese, yeah. if you know what I mean. This, this, oh. this, this whole segment. I thought he gave them uh, uh, candy bars again. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 I own the commissary now. <laughs> this, this whole segment has to be some sort of lead up for you to write a pain and gain esque movie about people it's- who own. Uh, energy drink companies. Like, hey, we're working yeah. on the Boy Scout thing. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, 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 we got to walk forward. This is right, why I yeah. can't do TikTok. There's too many ideas. It's just too much. Uh-huh. But, but it is copyrighted right here. <laughs> if anyone does get get wise. We're uh, gonna miss the uh, movies about corporations by about ten years. I think by the time the script yeah. is done. By the, by the time dumb money changes the face of American yeah. cinema. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they he's out of jail, and the co-founder of uh, Blackstone Labs, PJ Braun, is still in jail and is not scheduled to be released until 2025. Because PJ Braun knows that loose lips sink ships. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking a. Uh, so you might be wondering, is PJ still mad at uh, Aaron? Let's see. In this day and age, you can't beat anybody up anymore. <laughs> does he deserve a punch in the face? <laughs> yes, he does. Did I throw him across the room in the office one day? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, no big deal, you yeah. guys. I'll tell you what, in, in this in this fucking day and age of cancel culture, you can't just wokeity joke. You can't just you can't assault, just assault somebody in in an office. <laughs> this, you know what? I I, I blame this generation. I tell yeah. you what. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that guy's still in jail, and it maintains that uh, Aaron Singerman stole like a bunch of stuff from him and stuff. He, it's a whole nine minute video you can watch. There are a lot of uh, homophobic slurs uh, throughout the <laughs> oh, video sure. that make you feel a little less bad for the guy. You're like, boy, it seems so like they're in love. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> what I get. <laughs> it's, it's another one of those like there are no winners like everyone involved in this is dumb as shit oh, yeah. Yeah. it's all the worst people yeah no it's it's interesting because yeah like to your point like all these guys are the same kind of guy it's just a matter winners. of winners right yeah but it's just a matter of like can you keep your shit together long enough to have a bigger company absorb your company is kind of mm-hmm. like the waiting game like the rock star energy drink guy he waited 20 years and even though his family's uh fucking insane right-wing people you know mm-hmm. he at least kept it together long enough for pepsi to buy rockstar and then he's uh one of the richest men in california they can go now. as true at kathy out somewhere out straight up <laughs> what about the red bull guy well they're from austria so best not look into their uh, old bank accounts oh, uh, perhaps yeah. no nah, allegedly <laughs> yeah, i don't know. nazi pep they call that yeah. <laughs> what it's called in, uh, in uh, no that was just in meth. germany yeah, it was yeah. just meth <laughs> hitler was in the empire business okay <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so anyway, that's Redcon Vice City, which really does give a different meaning <laughs> to the name now that we know all of this. You know, it's mm-hmm. funny because I think they mm-hmm. want to invoke Grand Theft Auto Vice City in Miami, but then yeah, you're, I you're think like, Miami. oh, this is just uh, kind of them funning with their audience about how fucking crazy their CEO is. Yeah, so. I think they just handed it off to a marketing agency and they're like, eh, Florida, this is based in Florida, so yep. Vice City. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep. All so. right, guys, well, I'm going to blindside you Uh-oh. with a second oh, drink Whoa. for today. What? Oh, no. this, this isn't really worth its own segment, I don't think, because it is a reputable company. Oh, You've heard of them, right? Oh, Soleil, yeah. Soleil. Soleil. Yeah. So this is their mint mojito, and you don't have oh, to try wow. this, but I would love to get all your sure. opinions. Oh, you on got it. one for each of us. Oh, very yeah, let's get our yeah. own. Oh, wow. Uh, this oh. is the one. Oh. Not alcoholic. Yeah, it's just uh, is it, it a... Is there, is there more caffeine in this? No, there's none. It's just a carbonated oh, well, water. Then, yeah. 
This yeah. is the fourth beverage I've had <laughs> since I've yeah. been here. I mean, this well, is the drink podcast. I was going to say, it I, is, I, I cleaned the bathroom this week if anyone needs to go pee. It's real nice <laughs> and clean in there. <laughs> so uh, just give a sip and tell me what you think of this. Why did I pour it into the that's the one that's tainted by the awful? <laughs> Kelly, what, what's uh, the, what is that face you're uh, making? I don't like it. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> I think I have found the worst tasting carbonated water in the history of the world. River's about to say he likes it because he's a <sighs> freak. No, it does taste like mint. Yeah, yeah. and that's all it tastes like. It tastes like no it's so fucked up. Just mint water. <laughs> but like a cardboard finish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's horrible. Oh. So far, these have been purchased by my girlfriend. No one has been able to finish a single one. Can you, Everyone who's oh, tried has not it. been able to finish it. And I'll take a sip because I feel bad I made oh. all you guys drink it. Well, that's why it says mix with a spirit. It's like... It, okay. And, so, and it says non alcoholic Or drink it's like, by itself. It's like, please, please mix it yeah, with something. Yeah, you need to fucking thin this <laughs> we, down. We got to move this off the floor so yeah uh, here's some even, ideas and it's not even the initial taste it's like afterwards it's like you just took an old gum stick and wiped it in your yeah. mouth or something there's no way th th this is just like every sip causes a furrowed brow yeah, it yeah. Is <laughs> what on earth is yeah this is like it's a, not like it's it's like the most disgusting thing i've ever drinking even on this podcast yeah, but yeah. it's like it's just it's perplexing up it's up there it's, yeah it is like drinking pencil shavings <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go it's yeah. bad yeah i was gonna say it's kind of like when you buy like a organic mouthwash Yes. Yeah. I, I, it tastes like toothpaste. Yeah, exactly. I, it tastes, uh, yes, it yeah. does. It I doesn't hope. have any alcohol or things that disinfect germs in your mouth. No. It's organic. <sighs> this Boy. is, uh, I opened. It feeds the germs. I opened <laughs> one of these. <laughs> it makes them stronger. <laughs> at my girlfriend's house and didn't finish it, of course. And yeah. then I just left it in the living room. The next morning, her living room stunk yeah. like this shit. Really? Rivers, did you just kill this? You're the first human Gross. in the history of the world who has ever finished. Here, you want another hey, one? There's no. one more for you. Oh, right no. I'm good. Oh, Jesus. Beverage number four. Oh, boy, yeah. Chug, take it, take chug, it down. Chug, chug it. Rivers, here's Whiskey. another Soleil since you chugged yours to uh, prove no. a point. Yeah, no. no, you got to savor I, this my, one. My, my point was proven. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you just heard no one has well, ever drank a whole one, so you chugged it despite wanted, your face I wanted being to the be worst. The, I the wanted worst to be the chug. Face I've ever seen anyone make while drinking. The something. can looks refreshing. I and wanted, why? I wanted to be the champion. <laughs> and and you are. I could have been a contender. You definitely are the champion of oh, drinking. Oh God! This why? Board. Yeah, don't. It doesn't get better. You're never going to change your mind. On that. This is like the third one I probably opened, and it, yeah, it's the same. It's well, there's a have lime you on it. Any of them? No, no. Rivers <laughs> is literally the only one, and he just did it as a chug. He yeah. could have never done it if he drank it normally. <laughs> no person could finish one of these. It's fucking. Nasty. Do they not test this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Send it out. That is the truth. That is real. That's karma. That's the fucking real true story. So I guess we're fighting it out in court now. Fuck Aaron Sermon. Fuck Redcon. He's a pussy. He's a fake fuck. And he's a thief. So now we'll fight about it the real way in court. I'm tired of being quiet about it. You want to go? We're going to go. And I'm going to run my mouth all the way to the end. You guys got any questions for me? You wanted me to just shut it down on that. Nobody wanted me to do this tonight. I nobody nobody wanted me to do it, but that's the real talk. I have a fun story to share from uh, Rolling Stone magazine. They've still got a news department, amazingly. Uh, this is Miles Klee writing for Rolling Stone. And this kind of goes back to uh, talking about influencers a little bit and things that are just designed to make you go insane. In a recent video on her Instagram account, a quote-unquote human optimization specialist who goes by the name Samantha Lotus asks the following question. What's the one thing that your optometrist doesn't want you to know about? <laughs> it's the fact that the fact that they're a coke addict. Or, <laughs> I, don't know. I was like, <laughs> my optometrist is is hiding something <laughs> yeah, yeah. other than a blurry three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the fact that you do not need glasses. Oh, I for sure do. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, you it's don't. Like, it's like it's like what what an obviously <laughs> refutable thing. Like you know what I mean. Like like impaired vision is like one of those things where you're like you can't even like kid yourself. I know. Like, 
Like try driving without glasses. <laughs> like, well, that's what happened after that. She she drove into a car, <laughs> into a bri- <laughs> into a bridge, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> into Lo- a boat that was uh, <laughs> <laughs> zooming over high tide. <laughs> Lotus goes on to explain that it is a lie when doctors tell patients that they require corrective lenses because, in fact, poor vision is caused by quote mental, emotional, physical too much <laughs> jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> I told you'd make you go blind. <laughs> uh, Joke was real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's uh, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual factors that can, in fact, be healed. And to that end, she just happens to offer a vision healing masterclass for $11 on Zoom. Well, <laughs> hey, $11. <laughs> I feel like That's she's trying to deal. trick us. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Normally, she, they trick you out of a lot more than 11 So that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, I think it's just the, the barrier to entry is low. But then they're like, oh, you wanted to actually no. be able to see. Well, that yeah. is like $5,000. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's probably it. That's uh, probably it. It's uh, eleven dollars to hear her pitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, funny you say that. Uh, she claims that students will learn how to truly see through a holistic, multi-dimensional process. And the writer says, "I guess it was only a matter of time before anti-glasses grift became a thing." <laughs> so yeah. here we are. Yes, uh, they've run through every other medical thing that the government could be lying to you about, yeah, and right. now we're at glasses. Yeah, you're not missing an arm. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, that's the next one. Sounds your brain is telling you that there's not an arm there. I think that's got to be the only thing that's left. It's just Impaired <laughs> vision is like the most obvious thing. Like, like, see, there's probably so much else wrong with me right now that I don't know about. Right, and right. like impaired vision, I can't get around. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the one thing I'm sure of is I can't fucking see without my glasses or contacts. Yeah. So the strange clip that gained viral attention thanks to scrutiny from an account at This Is Mallory who prefers to be identified only by her social media handle and describes herself Smart. as a skeptic who is passionate about identifying wellness misinformation. This person can't identify themselves. Like, I don't want to be a part of some yeah. crazy retribution for calling out the crazy lady who yeah. says we don't need glasses. <laughs> yes, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, she wishes to remain anonymous for calling Which out this smart. person who's like, you don't need glasses. Probably her own sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this person signed up for Lotus's Zoom vision class and before long she says she deduced that it was at least in part a setup to pitch do Terra essential oils. <laughs> yeah, apparently this the whole thing was just a it's a multi-level marketing scheme called Do Terra. Where you mm. put oil in your eyes. I think that's <laughs> I, it doesn't say, but you have to assume, right? right? It's like right. Uh, so in a statement to Rolling Stone, the Do Terra communications team reiterates that their oils cannot treat diseases and that they have taken immediate action to review any of the distributor's statements. So like any other multi-level marketing scheme, the salesman on the ground, they're basically like Whatever you do, don't tell them that it does things that the FDA says we can't tell them it does. Wink, wink. Like, <laughs> right. You know what I mean? And so this person has gone rogue with these essential oils and been like, put them in your eyes. And if you're blind, it doesn't mean that you're fuzzy. You're saying anything fuzzy. You just can't see anything. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and your eyes will smell great, like lavender. <laughs> like mint mojito. <laughs> <laughs> Lotus says that uh, the masterclass grew out of her own experience. Quote, I was prescribed glasses in my late teens. And a few years later, I was able to stop needing them due to various changes I had made. These changes included reducing stress, eye exercises, reduced screen time, and blue light exposure. <laughs> so she just I just never leave my house now, and it's nice. I can see things, and no one can really test me on whether I can see things or not. And her phone screen, like all the text is just giant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can see. Yeah. <laughs> Why are all your phones jitterbugs? You ever, you ever get a glimpse of an old person's phone, you see that huge text, and you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Your senses are insanely dull. Oh, yeah. I love, I love reading their text. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just lots of emojis. They just discovered. Someone, they, someone switched it to Disney font and they don't know how to undo it. Yeah. <laughs> how do sounds. I not do wingdings? <laughs> I'm stuck on wingdings. I don't want to do wingdings. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta text my lawyer. What does it mean when it's a plain railroad track and a poodle? <laughs> uh, uh, Dear my lawyer. <laughs> the be- all the beginning of a text. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in huge font. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just like the lawyer's like, what does cement truck uh, <laughs> bat uh, flower mean? Yeah, so she's shining blue lights in her eyes. That's how she fixed her face. She notes that medical doctors and other teachers like neuroscientist Andrew Huberman, who hosts the popular health podcast Huberman Lab, uh, share about vision improvement openly. The difference is that Huberman is uh, also a professor of ophthalmology and in no way hints that eye doctors are tricking patients into wearing glasses. <laughs> so she's like citing this expert and then the guy's like, no, that's not what I'm saying. You're actually an idiot. Uh, so uh, healthcare practitioners battling falsehoods that spread on social media is par for the course in the pandemic age. But you might imagine that the anti-glasses sentiment is something new for the alternative medicine community. But like anti-vaccine propaganda, it has a long history dating back at least a century. <laughs> So apparently this was already a fucking thing. Really? Yeah. So in the 20s, there was a guy named William Bates, who was a physician who published a book called The Cure of Imperfect Sight by Treatment Without Glasses. And <laughs> they're trying to lie. The world's actually blurry, but they yeah. give you the shit. Yeah. Makes you think it's not. Because they want to fucking lie to you. Uh, so Bates says that, uh, you know, having bad eyesight was the result of wrong habits and thoughts. So to your point, is this the origin of jerking off will make you go blind? I think yeah. it's this yeah. guy. Yeah, absolutely. It's got to be demons. Uh, so, <laughs> so do they hypnotize them into seeing better? Well, this lady. Yeah, yeah I guess the idea is that uh, you know you uh, lessen your stress and uh. then you can see better. So they're just like, just quit your job. Yeah, you just quit worrying just about stuff easy. like stop lo- signs. Yeah, <laughs> billboards. You just don't. You're not concerned with it. Just what r- your <laughs> friends and family look yeah. like. Stop yeah. talking to them. You don't need them. They're the blurry ones. <laughs> Television is bad. You shouldn't be watching it anyway. Just yeah. sit there. Just sit. Yeah, don't yeah. do anything else. Yeah. If you're nearsighted. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, farsighted, that's like weird. Furthermore, he yelled that the corrective lenses, this is this is the guy from the farsighted. The farsighted is not like you jerk off too much. Farsighted, it's like you've never jerked off in your life and you can see like a million miles into the future. <laughs> the, the, the Mormon disease, as they call it. <laughs> right, yeah, the Mormon disease. So so Bates held that corrective lenses by enforcing such mental errors would actually harm a patient. He says, quote, it is fortunate that many people for whom glasses have been prescribed refuse to wear them, thus escaping not only much discomfort, but also injury to their eyes. So <laughs> I don't want to wear my glasses. <laughs> know, yeah. That's what he's Definitely. saying. Yeah. They make fun of me. Yeah. 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 I but, look like a dart. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it started. This guy got made fun of for wearing glasses and he's like, I'm going to get rid of glasses. Uh, yeah. uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, you know, you might have thought that this thing would have kind of gone the way of the dodo, but no, there's a book uh, called You Don't Need Your Glasses or Contacts, Natural Ways to Correct Your Vision Without Drugs or Corrective Lenses. What a snappy title, which was written mm-hmm. in 2015 by a former NFL player turned chiropractor, uh-huh. <laughs> Dr. John DeWitt. Now you will <laughs> note... Uh, CTE in action. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> you will note that playing football and cracking people's backs has nothing to do with your eyes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Uh, You know, I'm sure he's probably great at the other two things. But uh, anyway, he is a uh, noted proponent of the Bates method. And uh, the exercises that he describes are taught around the world by hundreds of holistic therapists affiliated with the Bates method international, which continues to train even more of these teachers. Naturally, like Samantha Lotus, a good number of them are peddling their remedies on social media. So Mm -hmm. this has been around for a while. And, I, you know, it's it's weird when I come across new stuff like this. I'm like, wow, anti-glasses. Yeah, I mean, you know. No, it's uh, the anti-vax lane is crowded. Yeah, and sure. this person just needed, you know, like water finds the easiest path. Yeah, dumb people are everywhere. <laughs> you know, <laughs> don't forget. When, when I put on my glasses in the morning, I'm like, time to be a sheep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time to be a sheep. Time to conform. God, I hate seeing. This is legit one of those things you wish you could hook this person up to a lie detector test and be like, do you believe this or is it a scam? Not, not even yeah. a lie. Do you, do you just need $11? <laughs> is that the whole thing? Not, on, on a personal, a scam on a personal level, I had a roommate that had glasses and then I found out one day he was just wearing the frames. Oh. That upset me. Clear, I clear. see when people are like, I like the look. It's like, no, dude. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. no. That's a medical accessory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my, yeah like, I'll die on that hill. It is my medical ailment. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't like practicing for a headshot picture or anything. Being like, this is my business yeah, look. Not, yeah, not at all. <laughs> 
<laughs> he was just like, I had LASIK a few years ago, and I, it's part of my look. And I was just like, it, I could never trust him <laughs> ever again. Man, I <laughs> wish yeah. I had LASIK. I heard LASIK doesn't last if you have like bad eyes. Like, yeah, doesn't bad. everyone who has LASIK uh, have bad eyes? Well, yeah. about, like, as, if they're real bad? Oh. Yeah. Everyone I know who has gotten LASIK tells me like, oh, dude, what are you doing, dude? You got to get LASIK, dude. You got to get... Yeah. Like, I'm just like, how do I get these glasses off my face? Like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm not like, I would have gotten it if yeah. I wanted to get it. You like, get um, used yeah. to wearing them, I think. You do. And, yeah. you know, I understand from everybody's perspective. I understand, like, if it's like your look or whatever. Do you not wear contacts ever? No. No? I so, used to. Yeah, I used okay. to. And, gotcha. like, I, I don't know. I just, no. It's Up. just easier to throw my glasses on. Yeah. I'm the opposite. I, l- I wear contacts, but I yeah. uh, glasses give me a headache. When for I the wear peripheral, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I get okay. that. Yeah, uh, I just switch mine up every. You know, I'll do contacts for a couple weeks, and then glasses for a couple weeks. You know, yeah. yeah. But you ever see someone who like definitely looks better in glasses? And they're like, dude, you got to get LASIK, dude. Uh, <laughs> it's like you got to go back to you're wearing your glasses. <laughs> uh, by the way, they say journalism is dead. Here's the last line: People will always want a quick and easy fix for what ails them, with others always promising that very miracle. But if you stop for a closer look, you'll see right through them. Ah, oh. all right. it's ended on a joke there. So anyway, yeah, That's, so they just need fun. the eleven dollars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're pitching the phantom limb, uh, the, the are not real. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what? It's all in your mind. Like every every ailment. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah, is made up. What what do, what do you think you could sell, Kelly? Do you think uh, to people? Uh, anything. <laughs> I just watched The Exorcist, uh, and <laughs> and they were like, you know, she sh- the bed was shaking and everything. They, she took him to the doc, her to the doctor, and they're like, yeah, it's it's a it's the brain. Yeah, it's the brain. <laughs> <laughs> but the bed, I had to jump on the bed too. Nah, yeah, muscle spasms. Even yeah. though she's twelve years old. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. They explained it. All. I was like, no, she's a, the, the muscle spasms are moving that entire bed. bed. Yeah. <laughs> that eight-year-old girl is moving that uh, yeah. two, three hundred pound bed. That was the scariest part of the movie. Yeah, the yeah. doctors and smoking, just like yeah, yeah, she's just in her brain. I, just in her brain. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, the last time I watched The Exorcist, that was the only part that the medical stuff, just like the syringes and all the shit, was what kind of gave me the yeah. willies more so than the demons i mean you gotta fuck a, a cross sometimes you yeah, know? yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's what she your mother sucks cocks yeah. in hell yeah. <laughs> but zuzu made me oh it's right it's that season too to watch that movie eight thousand times yeah. Oof, yeah. love that yeah movie. i was prepping for the new one yeah yeah, yeah i want to see the new one now i was thinking uh you know maybe you could uh, tell people that accents were a uh, government lie <laughs> Accents? Yeah, like, Ooh, oh, true. everyone actually has one accent, but, uh, you know, the government has tricked you into thinking you sound like the way you do. <laughs> the best thing you can do is convince deaf people that deafness doesn't exist Ooh, by yeah. signing it to them. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, man. Everyone's just pretending to hear. Oh, can't you see? a segment on this show where we talk about our guest hometown and today we are joined by kearney new jersey's own kelly mcinerney let's talk about it did I, did I say it correctly no it's carney like uh, it's so, like carney Carnivalful. you're from kizarn yeah yeah okay it's carney all right you know i usually try to like figure some stuff out about the town and in this case i just found out uh who carney was yeah uh, which uh is, there's is like a statue in the middle of the town of uh in the po- uh, in front of the post office yeah, okay yeah. Yeah. yeah do they tell you about general carney at all when you're no. growing up no i just know that his name is general carney yeah but uh <laughs> That's kind of it. <laughs> so he's uh, he's a fascinating guy. Philip Carney. He was a brigadier general in the Civil War, but he also fought in the Mexican War. And basically, he was a guy who would always just ride ahead of the troops like, yeah, let's go see what's going on. Yeah. And in the Mexican-American War, he ended up in front of a bunch of Mexican soldiers was like, oh, shit, and tried to turn around and they <laughs> shot his arm off. Good. Nice. Also, his father is one of the founders of the New York Stock Exchange, I found out. So rich kid, very rich kid. Okay. And uh, got to respect a rich kid that gets his sh- arm shot off by Mexican. Yeah, well, most yeah. of them most of them take the easy <laughs> route. <Yeah. laughs> well, he he later became known as the one-armed devil. Uh, Ooh, so nice. that was that was his nickname, but uh, my favorite thing I found uh, after the war was over, they tried to give him some like desk job essentially, and uh, he says, "Am I to spend my military career as a highly placed flunky looking at floral decorations in banquet rooms, escorting visiting boars and dancing with the ugly wives and daughters of foreign diplomats and then he quit the army 
<laughs> so <laughs> after saying that, so he's kind of cool, even though he's a, a classic uh, Nepo baby with his dad founding the New York Stock Exchange and whatever. And that's how he got into uh, to train mm-hmm. in uh, France, which is where he, he should have just tried to be training. an actor or something. I know. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, probably wasn't. Ho- was Hollywood made back then? Uh, no, was there Hollywood back then. <laughs> no, there wasn't movie cameras yet. This is like the 1840s, 1850s. Well, then he could have been an indie folk artist. Yeah, you there know you what go. I mean? He could have been the Maya Hawk of his day. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he kind of did the equivalent of that just by going to France, but he was basically just there to fight Italians, uh, where he was named uh, Carney Le Magnifique. Uh, oh. So Carney the Magnificent, which uh, yeah. just. I'm sure a lot of other infantrymen were like rolling their eyes and like, fucking Nepo, baby. <laughs> he fought Italians only to like have a. A town full of Italians. I know. Named <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, he uh, comes. Uh, he's in France. He fucks himself up by riding a horse over uh, a bridge made of rotten wood, <laughs> and just in against he doesn't have an arm to catch him when he falls, yeah. so he gets real fucked up. <laughs> and uh, the lady he hires to take care of him ends up being his mistress nice. and uh, his wife won't divorce him so he's, he's scandalous right he's living in sin in, in gay pale and uh, the civil war breaks out and at that point he's like sign me up but because oh. you know he's kind of uh, A he's got one arm and B they're like this guy's kind of a, a you know people will be talking if we yeah. hire him <laughs> and then the union proceeds to get their fucking ass kicked at bull run and they're like alright bring in anybody who knows what they're doing <laughs> and because he just had one arm he would ride into battle with the reins of the horse and his teeth and in a saber <laughs> in the other hand that was his signature and i'm like does the statue depict that because we nah, need that i wish does that have- seems some bad at that, that makes me proud to be from carney <laughs> yeah dude he was awesome hell yeah dude and, and he ha- he hated general mcclellan which is awesome uh Good. he would always disobey his orders which fucking rules because mcclellan's a fucking moron and uh then in uh 1862 at the battle of chantilly uh it's a giant thunderstorm and he's like literally it's a rerun of what happened in Mexico where he's just like, I'm going to go ahead. And then he sees a bunch of Confederates and he's like, "Uh oh, and he (laughs) turns to ride and he's getting in that position where his ass is facing them and he dies getting shot through the ass into his heart. Uh. (laughs) <laughs> so Dude, there's been a lot of yeah. hearts broken. Yeah, way. I know. I yeah. was say that's, that's what a way to go. Is that a thin guy? I guess. Yeah. Is it like straight through his ass? Yeah. yeah. So you have Did to imagine. Did go through one of his balls yeah, or something? No, it or? went through his like butt cheek. His like butt cheek. Like you know, how Forrest Gump got shot in the ass. It's right. like, except, but it like went clear through his ass cheek. Right, because he's on a saddle. He's like this, right? So his entire ass is facing the people with the guns, and the angle that he's at, they just shot him like through the ass, and it went up through his guts into his heart. Oh, so that's how he God. died. And after he died, they uh, they stripped him naked because at this point the Confederacy <laughs> didn't have any coats or Jesus. pants to wear. And that's actually the statue. <laughs> 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 they, Dick out. <laughs> go for it, you mail a letter to Santa. You see that? <laughs> yeah. oh People God. hang the Christmas wreath on it. <laughs> yeah, fully <There's>, torqued. <laughs> birds shitting on it. That's why it's white, not from the jizz. Yeah, yeah. Bird yeah, yeah. You can fit seventeen pigeons on that dongus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if, you, if you're really into the stock market, you need to take yeah. a good look. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, no, they uh, they take all his clothes, but Robert. Robert E. Lee knew him from Mexico and was like, guys, put his clothes back on. <laughs> like, this is fucked up. And I was just like, think I, I get in the heat of battle. It's like, you know, take his shit. Like, yeah. you know, especially because he had nice clothes uh, and then they didn't. But imagine putting the clothes back on. You're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> general's a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't need a one arm jacket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did assume they were just covered in blood. And no, right. Oh, this happened all the time in the Civil War because the Confederacy was so ill equipped. Like anytime they kill people, they would just take their clothes. Uh-huh. Happened all the time. But uh-huh. uh, yeah, Robert E. Lee made a mess in the body back over to the Union line. So he did get a proper burial originally in New York. And now he's in Arlington uh, Cemetery. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Right nearby. Uh, I think he's pretty close to uh, old JFK there. So anyway. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, so that's the one thing I found out about Kearney. But uh, just, you know, I was, I was like, am I going to include this? Then I found out he died by getting shot in the ass. And I was like, well, got to talk Generals about that. Generals don't fun. get killed in battle anymore. It's right. Really unless they're m- maniacs. Yeah. yeah unless he, you d- aren't American. <laughs> <laughs> then you might get killed right. in battle. The, the last thing he was recorded saying to his troops is he said, the rebel bullet that can kill me has not yet been molded and then he ran off into a thunderstorm and then came back uh, 
ass dead. With so. the rebel bullet <laughs> in his butthole. They, yes. form, they formed one since he said that. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. they, they turned out they did, yes. So anyway. Jesus. Um, but yeah, that's Carney. Uh, let's talk about the town, though. So yeah. um, this is located, it's very close to New York City, right? Yeah, it's like 20 minutes from Manhattan. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's the filming location of uh, the Pork Store from The Sopranos. Yeah. Pizza Land, Pizza Land in the beginning also. Oh, oh yeah, right. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. This is like heavy Sopranos territory. Yeah. So when I started looking up things about it, I was like, oh, yeah, this actually looks very familiar. <laughs> we uh, were so proud of that meat market that when it was done filming, they knocked it down and then put a apartment complex called The Soprano. Whoa, yeah. that's oh. awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's shit. knocked down now, though, too. Now, <laughs> now it's just Irish Pub. I think that's what it's called. It's like, just, not even a name it's of a pub. just Irish Pub. Yeah. Well, that's like across the street. They used to have the Cha Cha Cha, that uh, Mexican Caribbean place. Yeah. They tore that down, and then, like, in the lobby of the fucking soulless condo that nobody lives in, they have, like, kind of, I think it says Cha 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 on the walls of the lobby. <laughs> and you're like, fuck off, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's Pizza awesome, Land though. has, like, a little picture of, like, Tony, I think. <laughs> or like it's something in the window being like, yep, it was here. It's, That's it. It's actually James Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. James Gandolfini. But as Tony yeah, Soprano. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. When they were filming that, like, did you have any uh, interaction with them filming that I show? I was young, but you know what I else was filmed there? Analyze that. Oh, shit. Oh, man. And, Hell yeah. And that was filmed when I was like, I forget. I was think I was... It was before high school. and So, they, so like, mob guys getting in touch with their feelings runs deep. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they used one of my schoolmates' houses as a place, and I, I heard Billy Crystal was an asshole, and <laughs> Robert De Niro ruled. Matt Clocks, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I remember one time they were filming on the on the avenue, because there's also this, some bar that they use for Sopranos and this, and... Uh-huh. Um, I got Harold Ramis' autograph because I knew awesome. I, I, I was young enough where I'm like, that's the Ghostbusters. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's Egon, gone, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But I lost that autograph. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was pretty cool. But I don't And also Jersey Boys filmed there, but I was uh, living in LA. Then. Oh, okay. But everybody, all my family was like, oh, I saw Clint Eastwood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. So that's kind of fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's one of those spots where I started looking up. I was like, man, there's a lot of shit that got filmed here. So that's yeah. that's pretty cool. Well, yeah. Let's go into the questions. Uh, question one. What was the incident? Uh, the only thing I could think of, and it's not Carney, because I didn't go to Carney High. I went to High Tech High in North Bergen, <laughs> which uh, was an arts and science school. Uh, you had to be accepted, but it was free. No, we were dumb people. Just to, uh-huh. <laughs> the fourth year, we had to take a science. It was called Science or Poets, and we watched Rosemary's Baby and wrote a poem on it. <laughs> I'm very, I'm Wait, very, <laughs> for science? Yeah, I'm very stupid. Um, That's but, amazing. But, but apparently, allegedly, I guess when I let, like the year after, I guess I left. Somebody, uh, one of the teachers. Uh, I guess had relations with the uh, one of the girls. Oh boy! Oh, no. So yeah. that's an incident I found. That's, that's Mr. An incident. Jefferson. That's an incident. Yeah. <laughs> found out his name. I I never. I think he was like a social studies teacher that I didn't have. And yeah. I was like, oh, weird. Yeah. yeah. Good, not even yeah. a hottie that you remember, you know? Like, right, right. <laughs> that guy? He's an old man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is what? Gross. <laughs> so, Jesus we also Christ. had a stand-up comic teacher named Nardiello. I don't know if you guys know Vincent uh, Nardi. I don't know. No. Oh, he's like still a stand-up? I don't know if he is now, but back in the day, he was like a touring comic. We called him oh. Nard. That was Nard? <laughs> Nard Dog? Wow. Yeah. Look up his comedy right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? Vin- Vincent Nardiello, or maybe Vinny Nardiello. I feel like he would go by Vinny. Yeah, he might be a Vinny. But um, that's the only thing. Nothing really crazy or salacious uh, that I remember. Yeah. Okay. Number two, local legend. Oh, so another thing about Carney is apparently it's like it's called Soccer Town USA. It is. Yeah, because I was looking at notable people from Carney and I was like, these are all soccer players. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know shit about soccer. So I guess we get a lot of soccer players. I don't remember huh. any specific ones. I did try and do soccer. Uh, not good. I got one uh, <laughs> one goal in. I didn't get it in. The, hey. sa- the opposite oh. team got their own goal in, and I was standing near there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's got my name in the uh, paper. I was going to say, you go run up and claim that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Say, that's the closest anybody's ever come to making soccer exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> not a, a, not, no legends I know of, but uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Number three, worst bar. 
<laughs> Honestly, take your pick. There's really not any. They're all named after like counties in Ireland, <laughs> like Donegal. There's one, well, not county, but all Irish things. And there's like Riley's, uh, O'Neill's was. Uh, I don't know. They're all kind of weird. They're all bad because all the people that go there now are just people that decided to stay in Carney. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a lot, not, of, a lot of Irish pubs, huh? Is yeah, this? even though it's mostly. No. Okay. Uh-uh. He might be dead. There's a lot of people with a similar name that are dead. He wasn't that old, but okay. um, I don't know. I'll sh- I'll try and look well, him up. Maybe he quit like a loser. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, it, yeah. It just hasn't grown, Carney. So it's like not like we just recently got a Target like last year. Uh huh. So yeah. it's not oh. a cool town to like go to Hoboken or so. Like you don't uh-huh, want to uh-huh. stay in this shithole. So that is that like the nearest like kind of. Would uh, people go to Hoboken bigger. to go to Target or something like that? Or? Um, well, like Clifton is close. To, that's the nice Target nearby. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. But yeah, uh, Hoboken, Jersey City. Those are the cool, like, Carney is like forgotten about because it's just like, now it has a crazy Walmart too. And like really <laughs> wackadoos go to that. <laughs> you know those cars that have all the shit on there? Like, like. Uh, action figures oh, glue art, on yeah, art, yeah, cars? Yeah, yeah. art cars yeah. they call them yeah <laughs> we got a lot of those around here yeah. Oh, yeah. have you seen the star wars one around the corner no it's decked out with all sorts of like imperial trooper gear I, I, and nerd dude yeah, yeah. get a life <laughs> i want to i i want to see the person who drives it so bad I, i've just seen probably the, a virgin the, yeah. Yeah. yeah i've just seen the guy whose car is like covered in rhinestones <laughs> you guys <laughs> walk me to my car and i get in the star wars mobile like, it's good it's a good podcast <laughs> <laughs> I've just seen the guy whose car is covered in like mirrored rhinestones, the whole oh, thing, oh. and of like you know all different colors, like beads and just shit. But then the disturbing thing is he has about seven prayer candles super glued mm-hmm. to the dashboard. So while he's driving, there's just open flames in the car. Oh, they're lit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll put a picture of it up on Twitter. I saw it uh, uh, a couple nights ago. I was like, oh, that's a fucking bad idea. No. I remember there was a guy that used to come to our school. Uh, and his name was Happy Hal. I don't know if you remember. You know of, of whom I speak? No, I just we also have a, a guy named Happy who was like a town wanderer. <laughs> he was a guy who lived right next to the elementary school, uh-huh. and he had a car that had two pistols on it. <laughs> <laughs> but he was happy. So he was happy, so yeah, th- no threat happened. there. They're good pistols. <laughs> they were good loaded <laughs> pistols. <laughs> Wait, what, what do you mean on it? Like just like attached like, to it? P- like on the two headlights atop oh, them. Fuck yeah! A- a- like. Road Warrior style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump across the hood of the car and use them Whoa. in a, a case. Whoa. Which I wouldn't think Happy would do. He was quite old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everyone loved Happy Hal's gun car that he would show <laughs> all the children. <laughs> yeah, we had a we have a town wanderer. I think he's still around uh, who goes by Happy. And the legend growing up was, you know, he's kind of a an eccentric, as you would say. And the murdered, town legend growing murdered up. Murdered 50 men. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, the legend growing up was like, this guy, he used to be the smartest man in town. Town, and then in the 60s, he took acid and fell off the Coliseum, and now he's like this. And then meanwhile, he's just glug, 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 glug. They're like, no, oh, he don't just... mean no harm. Right. Yeah, but that was like when we were growing up. You can that get was exposed the... to this psycho every day, but it's like no R rated movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't get into too much trouble. Yeah, don't listen to another one with that parental advisory sticker on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure I've mentioned this. We, there was another guy named Cannon who uh, used to wander around, and Cannon claimed that. <laughs> A, that he wrote Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Nice. He did a good job. I know. I was yeah. say, was he half asleep? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in hindsight, it makes sense. And then the second that he would be starring in the upcoming Superman and that, I quote, the red suit is being made as we speak. Mm. Uh, Cab will so. beat him out for it, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. And this guy was, you know, 300 pounds and bald. Uh, so we were all uh, like, uh, cool, man. Henry Cavill had to do that, too. But then he yeah. went for a more conventional Superman look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's he actually he, looks like that they just CGI him to look <laughs> yeah. just like the mustache. Just like the mustache. They also <laughs> Mission Impossible too. Yeah. He looks exactly like Butterbean, but <laughs> they, they, they CGI him to look like yeah. Superman. Uh, <laughs> Some guys have all the luck. <laughs> Question four. Best local food. Oh, uh, fish and chips is a big thing there. Is it? Mm. Yeah, the thistle is a thing, uh-huh. which is also like the best soccer team because they were all under like what their sponsors were. Mine was Condon Funeral Home. Oh, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but- hey, we'll fucking bury you. Forget about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. And but be bad, like we will be buried because we were bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, fish and chips is pretty popular. 
What's, you guys know it. It's what's the what's I mean, what's the Italian food situation? There? Oh, there is lots of good Italian. Oh yeah, pizza everywhere. Sure. That's the one thing I miss is just like we could just get a big pizza pie for like twelve bucks. Yeah. Versus hell yeah. like weird artisanal pizza. He, I don't Experimental know. Like California like dog yeah. shit. Yeah, cauliflower crust. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I stick to Domino's out here. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Hey. But um yeah, there's and then there's like this one like Arlington Diner. It's just pizza and eggplant parm and like uh, wine, but yeah. it's in a shopping center. Oh yeah, like by Dunkin' Donuts. I and love that those. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's always the best. Yeah. that's the thing. It's some for some reason when food makes it out to the West Coast, people are like, "Let's fuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make it healthy, though." Yeah, or just like weird. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. well, they just want to use like the local ingredients and stuff, and <laughs> some stuff is like, no, used whatever <laughs> yeah. canned tomato sauce they're using yeah, on yeah. the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, you know. For for Tennessee hot chicken, it turns out all you need is a shit ton of spice and fried chicken. Right. So you can recreate uh, that. How do any of those places stay open? <laughs> and they open up all the time. There's a new Nashville hot chicken place all the fucking it's time. It's like a new thing, right? I, those places and escape rooms are like, <laughs> my guy. It's like, this yeah. was a five years ago trend. Like, yeah. you're, this is not a sustainable business model. Like, yeah, I just shit is going to turn into a vape shop but like my, tomorrow. My cabbage slaw, totally different. Yeah. yeah. I can't. It's like you're about to t- you're about to be selling kratom. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, I just remember when I first got out here, there was a place on Hollywood Boulevard and I want to say Sycamore, like right next to the Walk of Fame and shit, called Soul. And I remember mm-hmm. looking at their uh, their fried chicken had Parmesan in the breading. I was like, stop what you're doing uh-huh. and kill yourself. Uh, you try it though, and you're like, mm, it sounds good yeah. to me. No, no this is wrong. I uh, love cheese. I mean, though. calling yeah. that soul food is a uh, that's what I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I mean. It probably is okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah, whatever. I'm just like, don't yeah. call that soul food, please. Yeah. But uh, then I go back home and I have the Mexican food, and I'm like, this is not. This doesn't touch LA shit. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, number five, local ghosts or monsters. They shot me in the ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wish he was haunted. Uh, I hope he haunts Ow! the post. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I could think of is the Jersey Devil, but that's like down the shore. But right, right. my grandpa would always threaten me with it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. see, this is what I yeah. love. Yeah, be like, if you don't go to sleep, the Jersey Devil will wake you. I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Jersey Devil? Some, I hear about it. I don't even understand what the fuck it is. Some weird creature that lives in the Pine Barrens, which is like down. Not down the shore shore, but like on the way, uh-huh. yeah. there's some woods, I Setting guess. Setting up the best Sopranos episode. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes, they get lost. It- <laughs> Which I believe is called the Pine Barrens. Yeah, it yeah. Is. yeah. No, it's got like a horse's head, and then it's got like a goat's hooves, and then it's got giant like dragon wings. Yeah, it just looks like a, a devil kind of deal. I mean, the, that yeah. team's named after him, right? The, yes, the, the, the hockey Jer- team. Yeah, the hockey team is, yeah, is yeah. very much named for the New Jersey Same Devils. Like, it looks kind of like a giraffe, but with wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look that scary. I'm going to be honest. I'd be pretty freaked out <laughs> if that was coming for me. Somebody <laughs> also drew this one, and I'm like, I feel like this is just an elf. Um, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's, that's a, a friendly little that's guy. A, that's like a Siri. That guy sells Siri. There's that's a yeah. video game for PlayStation called Jersey Devil, and it was kind of just like a Crash Bandicoot ripoff. Really? Uh, okay. just, he kind of looked like Batman, I guess. A yeah. Little bit. Sure, <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, it's one of the most disappointing episodes of the X-Files early on was you know, it's like, oh, Jersey Devils. Yeah. And then they just turn out to be like Bigfoots, kind of. And they're like mm. invading the city. And you're like, ah, oh, man, come on. Fucking, yeah. there's already existing lore here, man. That's kind of what mm. they say, though. Like, it's like spotted the, like, same type of Bigfoot sightings, but the right. East Coast version. Right, right. Yeah. Tinier and angrier. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, because the original, like, legend is that it, like, a uh, lady was giving birth to the devil and it, like, flew out of her and then up the flue of a chimney. So it can't be that it, big. It, and, go, and going with the Rosemary's Baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. earlier. You didn't learn this in <laughs> physics for poets <laughs> or whatever. I was going to say, what did the poem had to have Hail Satan in it? At least one, yeah. <laughs> at least one line. I wish I remembered my poem, but yeah, we ended up stop showing up to that class and he would find us in the hallways and is like, this, the final is whatever you want on Natalie Portman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Marchese allegedly went backwards in the Lincoln Tunnel, believed in aliens. What? Wow. <laughs> I like it. When, when can you, there's not a time in which you can go backwards in the Lincoln 
Lincoln Tunnel. But That's that what was... makes it so special. I love it. Like, I don't know if you've seen the film Men in Black. But, yeah. uh, if people you fly on the top of the tunnel. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, people ask me where I was on 9-11. <laughs> Just driving backwards through the Lincoln Tunnel because I could. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's my local legend, Mr. Marquez. There we go. There yeah, we yeah. go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And uh, last one. Favorite thing that's not there anymore. I mean, aside from that meat market in the Soprano building, we used to have like um, a movie theater. That was our thing like growing up on like Friday nights when you're seventh grade or whatever. Walk to the movie theater and go see a movie. Right. Sure. Lincoln right. Theater. Now it's not. Now it is there, but it's closed and it looks very sad. It oh, still no. says like, uh, I, I think Mission Impossible uh Something is on there still, like, and some animated film, and I'm like, man, oh, Inside Out or something is on. Oh, the wow. marquee is still. So that's frozen. probably like it's probably like Ghost Protocol or like yeah. one of the early yeah. 2010s ones. <laughs> no, what? Inside and Out. I think I was already here. That's 2009 or like Inside Out. Inside Out. Yeah. I think it was like 2000. Oh yeah, it's like, like 13. 2010s. Yeah. 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 Well, then what? What Mission Impossible movie would it be then? It might be Ghost Protocol. Okay, Inside Out's 2015. So okay, so it was like Rogue Nation. Rogue Nation. There yes, we Rogue go. Nation. Hey, now. Yeah. <laughs> we figured Good. it out. Yeah. We did it. Yay. Yeah. Well, I was thinking because if it was the one after Rogue Nation, I was like, oh my god, Movie Pass killed your movie theater because that is <laughs> oh, the wow. whatever that next Mission Impossible is after Rogue Nation. That's the one that, that was the last Movie Pass thing <laughs> that yeah. I was able to see before it died. Well, Ke- Kelly, what was your favorite movie you saw there? Oh, there if we you go. can recall. I made my brother see Freddy Got Fingered with me. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I'll never. Forget Forget Come that. finger daddy gourd. <laughs> Daddy, would you like fun. some sausage? <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, yeah. One time, also, another fond memory of that theater is I used to like, you know, when you're a little kid, you snoop uh, a lot. And I would snoop in my parents' bedroom. And one time, I found condoms by my dad's. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what is this? And I brought it to the movies, and I opened it in the bathroom, and I just... Swirl. I just tied it around the sink <laughs> and left. <laughs> did, you, did you turn the sink on? Yeah, yeah. I was just a real dirt bag. Whoa. I don't know why. I was like to my friends, like, this is cool. Ra-. I don't know. We were like 11. Yeah. <laughs> like, this reservoir tip has some give on it. This is so good. <laughs> I was like, why is this oily already? I don't know. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, if you guys follow Tom Green on social media, he can't post a single thing without somebody being like, Daddy, would you like some sausages <laughs> in the comments? <laughs> Everything, no matter what he posts, uh, someone will comment that. I mean, as 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 mild mannered as he is now, it's like that's what you imprinted on our brains yeah. when we were kids. Now, Sorry, dude. Now he lives on a farm with some horses and plays acoustic guitar on TikTok Live. Well, okay. I hope he's making I some like- money because he was seems like an artist. And it should guy. be yeah. noted after basically starting the online uh, no. you know, video podcast thing, you know, and oh, start, yeah. starting modern comedy. Yeah, I mean that too. <laughs> Twice, really. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. first with his show, and then being like, I'm going to do a show from my house yeah you know now what i mean there's just an h- entire genre of people doing tom green style pranks yeah. on youtube yeah and shit. So absolutely funny. and jackass ripped him off so hard <laughs> yeah they, they went grosser that's what they well, they did a couple things that were exactly the same yeah as he did. yeah they did yeah. like the scuba diver and the fountain public fountain thing and yeah there's yeah. a couple things that they just directly did that was yeah. just like oh yeah you guys yeah. were influenced quote unquote <laughs> sure sure my favorite is just when he just lied in in the middle of a sidewalk planking invented that yeah yeah just for like and the, and with a tux no with a trench coat on he just uh, lied down and then just would film people just like come and ask him if he's okay and yeah. then he just got up and walked away yeah. <laughs> so I remember early in the episode when I told you about uh, you know we would put a bunch of cookies and bullshit in our mouth and yeah. pu- directly influenced by Tom Green and then we did that too we would just lay down on the sidewalk and just make people step over you and it's <laughs> fucking hilarious the best <laughs> yeah even Bam torturing Phil is so direct, is yeah. straight from Tom uh, Green. Oh, yeah. Richard and Mary Jane Green. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Petting zoo. And so- <laughs> what, yeah. what is it? The Richard and Mary Jane Green wears my dinner bitch statues. Yeah. And then they, <laughs> you, the dad breaks it. Yeah. He's like, I made this for you. You cannot find that online. Slut Tom Mobile. Green has spent money yeah. to make sure that that is not anywhere it's online. so crazy. Because oh, pa- Probably because his parents. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. they were pissed but, about it. Oh, and, uh, I mean, the <laughs> lesbian mobile still around. Yeah, the yeah. 
Slutmobile. Yeah. yeah. Slut-mobile. That's a classic. <laughs> that's that's so classic. funny. It's, if I'm not mistaken, it's like mounted on the wall behind his desk in his office. Because I remember <laughs> they would like he was showing it like on some uh, Instagram thing. Now's I think. his chance. Now's his chance to become America's sweetheart because nobody likes Drew Barrymore anymore. Oh, yeah. oh, oh man. Yeah. Say, that someone had some meme where it was like a picture of them too. And yeah. it was like, if you were to tell me which one of these people in 2023 was canceled, <laughs> I would not have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> damn. Well, that is a tour of Kelly McInerney's Carney, New Jersey. Y'all, we have time for just one more segment. And of course, this is our jam of the week. And this one comes with a very small news story out of New Jersey. Uh, Liberty Township, a New Jersey man is facing several charges after authorities say he intentionally crashed his vehicle into a police station. <laughs> oh, I saw this. Badass. <laughs> <I> saw- <laughs> badass. That was so funny. <laughs> he Billy joel into a police station. Yeah. The man, identified as John Hargreaves, then gets out of the car with his hands up before he was arrested by officers. He now faces several serious charges, including terrorism, which carries a maximum sentence of life in prison. Police wow. say earlier... <laughs> you can drunk drive yourself into terrorism. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> well, if Only if a police station's involved. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, police... Police say uh, earlier that day, Hargreaves intentionally crashed his SUV into the garage door of a home in Liberty Township. Let's assume ex-wife, right? Like that yeah. stands sure. to reason. But uh, more notably, when he crashed into the police station, he just so happened to be playing our jam of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, So I I hate everything about Guns N' Roses, dude. I really do. I hate that except for their music, bro. Except for their music. I hate that they're like LA's flagship band. Like this is like Bruce Springsteen to Los Angeles. Oh yeah. And it's like fucking his stupid voice. Fucking like you got to drive around the shitty parts of LA, jamming Appetite for Destruction occasionally. (laughs) Just to do it and be like, okay, I understand where all this fucking music came Dude, from. Yeah. People with good taste like back <laughs> Appetite for Destruction, but I fucking can't <laughs> stand it. Yeah. So unfortunately, the video of him crashing into the police station doesn't have any sound. It's a security video, but boy, <laughs> it's so great. He's got wraparound yeah. shades on. It's night, and he's just pumping his fist when he puts his hands up. This, is, this could be the he soundtrack. He easily, too. He's like, I did it. He's okay. like, I, yeah, you're damn right I did it. Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, I did it. Yeah. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Well, you're you gonna, gonna die. die. <laughs> yeah, so. I should I, play this song at, like, divorce hearings. <laughs> yeah. <the> dentist's office. <laughs> yeah, so uh, as soon as I saw that story, I was like, well, I know what we're doing this week, yeah. so. Sure. This Good is, of course, well, welcome to the jungle. It's by my people. <laughs> <laughs> my people right there. <laughs> yeah. It's about, uh, I looked this up, it's about 55 miles uh, west of uh, Kearney. Uh, uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, this is from the 1987 record Appetite for Destruction. This video has 571 million views, 106,198 comments, and y'all. I read every goddamn last one of them before I crashed into a police station. So mm-hmm. Don't <laughs> let, do this while driving, Rivers. Oh, no, no. Uh, so now let us get down into the comment section for the YouTube video for Welcome to the Jungle. First up, Dark Jim, 39, from six years ago. Jim, like, going to the gym? <laughs> or, uh, Hi, my name is Jim. James. Uh, okay, James. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the diminutive of James. Uh, we are young, drunk, and want to visit jungle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, James. <laughs> Come on okay. by. Come on by, bro. We'll show you around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one is uh, very scary. Uh, M.H. Elias from two years ago. I want this played at my wedding with an intro for me. My wife has to know that she's signing up for the unknown. This guy doesn't even have a girlfriend. <laughs> what the no. fuck? This guy does not even have I've a girlfriend. I've never been touched. No. <laughs> just signing up for the unknown is so scary. Uh, it's it's just, his butthole. <laughs> <laughs> butt play. Yeah, she'll, a lot of butt play. She'll never see it coming. 
Uh, <laughs> there's air play. There's butt play. He just has ghost jizz. That's why he'll never <laughs> see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> that is outstanding. <laughs> um, BB bitch from three years ago, or is it boo 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 bitch? Yeah, that's or, yeah, yeah or it's, baby bitch. It's George Thurgood. Boo 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 bitch. Son of a boo 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 bitch. BB bitch three years ago. Got to blast this my speakers for all my neighbors who said I have changed. Y'all bitches wake the fuck up from your delusions. I'm a hopeless romantic with a style. Wait, if playing this song <laughs> indicates that he has not changed, then he has changed for the better. Yeah. <laughs> You've changed, man. You look good. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> fuck. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. He's this a- band and Red Hot Chili Peppers <laughs> are the official governing body of Los Angeles. Yeah. And by change, I'm sure he's, I'm, his neighbor's are like, yeah, there's like one week where he shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> we thought he was dead. Yeah. Yeah. He did like a wellness check, and then he opened the door, and this song was playing. He says, I'm a hopeless romantic with a style. Welcome to my jungle, <laughs> September 22nd, 2020. So in the middle of the pandemic, he's just fucking uh, cranking this shit, torturing the next door neighbor. Not style, but a style. Yeah, a mm-hmm. style. A but certain he's a style. hopeless romantic. He's looking, he's mm-hmm. looking for a lady uh, yeah. in the comment section. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I, I can't not be a nuisance. <laughs> I am what I am. I haven't changed. Is it just me, or does hopeless romantic always means gets dumped by everyone they date? <laughs> <laughs> like they're way this too is like, into the person. This is like <laughs> not goes on date, dangerously obsesses over strangers. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, There's no hope in my romance because I never yeah. spoke to her. What she can I say? know I exist. Yeah. What can I say? I'm a hopeless romantic and they found me in the bushes outside of her house. <laughs> I was just looking. <laughs> uh, Sin Sinner from four years ago. This came in 1987. That year, my ex-wife fucked me and take me for two point three million dollars. <laughs> Bloody hell! Imagine hearing oh. every time you hear this song. That's what you say. <laughs> Losing millions I mean, of dollars. Fuck. That's a bummer. I like to rock to this song. It's, it's crazy. It's somebody's depression song. Yes. <laughs> he's, uh, just, he's just crying. To this no. Song. Oh, there's there's oh. so many people who fucking in the eighties like lost their entire ass out here, and this is their depression song. When, like, turn it off. When when do I get fun and games? <laughs> I want the fun and games. <laughs> They're just not coming. Uh, I want to. You want to like... see my serpentine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chrisa JB from one month ago. My comments don't change much. They are temporary. Don't run around the pool. Limits are important. Sounds like somebody <laughs> lost somebody running I, around the pool. I, it sounds like someone drowned. Did tons of cocaine in the eighties. This song is like, limits are good. <laughs> it is good to have control in your life. This song is not a call to embrace the inner animal. Moments it is away a, just from a, a relapse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's to say, trickle one single trickle of sweat down forehead, thinking about shoving entire face into a pound of cocaine. Uh, Lee Ann Bishop from four years ago. This sounds like my town of Tennant Creek in the Northern Territory of Australia, only it's the desert. <laughs> and you're like, but it's the jungle. What? Uh, he said, and then she says, more jungle out there. Tennant Creek here. is a desert? I guess. Okay. Uh, she says, I lo- that makes sense in Australia. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, well, it's upside down, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, she says, I love the man with black hat and curly long hair. <laughs> He's my favorite. Very hot. I'm a female, by the way. I've always been a fan since 1996 when I was 16. I like the black. Clearly the has black a hand. dick. Has a dick. I'm a, I'm a female, by the way. <laughs> I am female. I remember I bought a Guns N' Roses necklace at a car show in New South Wales. I lost the necklace a long time ago. I don't know what happened to it, but I love that band so much, and I had to have necklace. And I and that I never forgot that necklace. <laughs> I could still see it. I could still see it. Yes, I loved the necklace. <laughs> it's just like this person Great went off monologue. the rails. Yeah. Went all the way off the rails just from being like Slash really does it for me too. Yeah. I need my necklace. I love uh, Slash's necklace. Yeah, yeah. I love that necklace. Yeah, <laughs> neck. 
lace. <laughs> she, she's a fucking hoarder. That's like hoarder yeah. mindset. Be like, oh, I lost this thing I had in 1996 when I was 16. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Lieutenant Cove is very much like LA. Yeah. <laughs> in that they're both in the, on the planet Earth. Yeah, sure. There's no plants here, yeah, but, uh, you know. You there is a necklace. Yeah, there's a necklace. There's a necklace that haunts me. <laughs> that reminds me of Slash. <laughs> Uh, Rhino Camo Gaming from two years ago. Me and my wife, fucking, are. <laughs> <laughs> it literally says me and hey, my wife, all right. colon, keeping it alive. Fucking. Yeah. Our son walks in. <laughs> me. <laughs> Damn it, boy. <laughs> me. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. <laughs> like, oh, that's Jesus. how Jeffrey Dahmer was. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, was say. Your son never forgot that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is your son's depression song. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's, a, that's a depression song right there. <laughs> uh, Fax Blue Boy from six years ago. Come to Columbia, the jungle of beautiful women. I help everyone meet their girlfriends or wifeys for a family, or if you just want to be... So he's like Columbia's hitch. Yeah. <laughs> he's a fuck, no, he's Columbia's pimp. Yeah. All code like. words for cocaine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or you meet you... the white lady. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what I'm talking about? Well, then it gets real specific. He says, or if you just want to be a boss porn star, contact us today, jslwealth at aol.com. So <laughs> okay. got an ad to... At aol.com, email hey. jswealth. <laughs> yeah, jslwealth. So, hey... Hey, come to Columbia and make sure every pocket is stuffed with money. If you come want on. to be a porn star and also make big money, then give us your social security number <laughs> at www.aol.com. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of uh, kind of home defense themed ones here. EVD. Do, wait, do some of these people think they're talking about a literal jungle? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. God <laughs> some people are. Damn it. Yeah, we've, we've talked to <laughs> media literacy, not humanity strong suit. Uh, but yeah, I got a couple of these are home defense themed. EVD Leon from two years ago. You have to protect your wife and your kids. You have to painting your face with the colors of war <laughs> like an Indian warrior. <laughs> this is, yeah, I could see this being a lot of people's rage songs. <laughs> oh, too. yeah. 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 Uh, this, this person's got. <laughs> yeah, rage, I'm a rage stripper to this song. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I look really frumpy and upset. Exotic punch <laughs> dancing. Oh, you don't like it? Fine, I'm gonna go fucking back in the behind the curtain then. Whatever. Uh, this is also kind of uh, weirdly home defense themed, but in sort of a home alone way. Uh, Chris KY4E from five months ago reminds me of so much when I was younger. Damn, orgies, drunken parties, so on. Did not happen. But look, no. here's the situation. Someone breaks into your house. First, make something automatic start, an intruder alert, a program, or Alexa, or a home button, something. Second, the program turns off the lights. Third, start playing Welcome to the Jungle. Fourth, you release Claymores on Roombas. <laughs> He just wants a home alone situation so bad. Exactly. <laughs> and then he says, now enjoy, now enjoy this song with a smile in your bed or chair with a bright smile and a crazy different view. Oh, this man. guy got his car broken into and he, did, he had this elaborate fantasy of getting back. <laughs> just attaching landmines to Roombas is amazing. Well, the first thing, like, disc, like, like lights go down, disco lights come up. Yeah, yeah. Then you hear... Dun, 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 and the guy is like, get the fuck out of here! And then, like, I guess, like, I, like jail bars come up over the windows, <laughs> and then Roomba's carrying <laughs> landmines. This guy is like one of those people that has kept weed illegal way longer than it yeah. needs to be, because people are like, look at what weed smokers are like. They yeah. make up situations <laughs> where they're, they're attaching dumb. explosives to Roombas. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you got a new view on this song now. I <laughs> uh, got two more here. Uh, Ratmaster 4000 from 13 years years ago. Rat or rat? Rat. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Rat now. He's a, he's a like rat. A, like Willard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he gotcha. is Willard. He's been. He's Willard. Uh, so, yeah, this is from 13 years ago. A lot of women are going for these skinny, tall, white kids for boyfriends. People think nowadays, they even think braces are kind of attractive in the 70s. No matter how popular you were, you would get your ass kicked. Bad. <laughs> you want to try tango with the rat master? <laughs> and the women, <laughs> and the women, then like big muscly guys that look good. So, <laughs> okay, this guy's right. uh, 
is just like upset that more skinny hipsters are not getting uh, beaten the shit out of because of they yeah. have braces, I guess. That 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 checks with this song. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. yeah. That age range. Uh, and finally, DJ Michael Slash from 11 years ago. This is this actually Slash? Yeah, yeah I'm thinking Rosen. so. Probably. DJ Michael Slash says, I know, I think this person is straight up like 10 years old. I got a friend that copies me and everything I do. He's he's one year smaller than me. He tries to copy me and everything I do. It'd be better than me. This guy's 47. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much better if he is. Yeah. He's, he's one tr- year smaller than he's, me. He's 46. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to attack everything that I do. How fucking irritating. Yesterday, I picked up my guitar with my headphones. I was listening to GNR. Bang. Bang, bang on that fucking head, you fucking kid. <laughs> Go like your kid shit. GNR forever. You fucking kids can't just do their own shit. This guitar is fucked, but I'm waiting to be judged now. <laughs> I feel so happy. That bastard stopped, of course. And I was like, did you beat a child to death with a guitar? Because that kind of sounds like what he's saying. Probably. Mm, he probably. says the guitar is fucked, but I'm waiting to be judged now. And I'm like, does that mean in a literal sense or a metaphorical sense? So Can't judge me. Yep. Yep. I hate when people are trying to be just like me. Yeah. <laughs> it's just infuriating. Old copycat motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, mm. Well. I want to watch you. Bleed. Yeah. Hell Yeah. That's the copycat motherfucker. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, look, we can only hope that uh, more people don't drive their cars into police stations. You know, that's not a copycat thing that we encourage at all. What are we it's living bad. in? A Chinese democracy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Guns and Roses. Oh, yeah. Well, and that is Welcome to the Jungle by Guns and Roses, our jam of the week. Kelly McInerney, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Kelly McInerney. I am on Twitter, though, still at Holly Weirdo. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. But yeah, and then that's it. Carter, where can people find you online? You can find me at Carter underscore Glasscock on Instagram. Um, I might tweet again one day. Who knows? Do <laughs> it. You should do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll tweet this week. I, I'll make a promise with you, the, uh, the audience of people who listen to this podcast. And you can read my uh, record reviews at New Noise Magazine. Sam, where can people find you online? They can find me online on Twitter at Slam Harder. Today I tweeted about how I found a salt shaker in our refrigerator. Wanting, uh, <laughs> wondering which of my roommates managed to make that happen. Uh, but knowing full well there's a chance it could have been me. Uh, I really I really doubt it. But dabs are a, a crazy thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, learning disabilities are crazy too. <laughs> um, but yeah, Slam Harder on TikTok. Sam Harder 666 on Instagram. And uh, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Blue Sky and Threads. Maybe someday I'll post on those latter two. I'm at Rivers Langley. You can find our show on Twitter at The Goods Pod. Buy a shirt, Pro Wrestling Tees dot com slash the goods pod best way to support the show patreon.com slash the goods pod second best way to support go to apple Podcasts, rate review and subscribe show the attitude of gratitude because if you do not have the attitude of gratitude daddy we're making you drink an entire soleil mint mojito The Goods from the Woods was recorded and edited by me, Rivers Langley. You can find our show on Twitter at The Goods Pod. Our theme song was composed by Jonas the Space Cowboy. This was a Brain Freeze podcast. <laughs>